and I'll leave it there. So who thinks they can clearly identify one argument that was being presented in that book about fires? I'm Alana Murphy, I'm the Year 4-5 teacher at Sturt Street Community School in the Adelaide CBD. The um, grass fires aren't very dangerous. In my classroom there's around 13 different cultural backgrounds, Middle East, Europe, Asia. So there's two different sides to using fire and we're actually going to, in a minute, be reading quite a difficult newspaper article from The Australian, which has... This morning, they're learning about Aboriginal culture through literacy. This is a difficult piece of writing. Based around read, using fire as a technology to manipulate the environment. Fire stick farming already. I like to share with my children celebrating the successful stories that Aboriginal people have and also showing you can base some really academically rigorous learning around Aboriginal cultural studies. What is one of the main reasons this article tells us that Aboriginal people used fire management to burn off country? It made something easier for them. Getting in and out. Yeah, getting in and out, moving around. Sophie? It's controlled farming, then it's grass and it's kangaroo, then it's human, then it goes again. Yeah, so, yeah, that's very good. They showed that they were actually using a, a cycle of practices. I'm just making articles, Aboriginal perspectives, quality resources by Indigenous people, a, a natural part of my classroom and a natural part of my teaching. To use fire to manage fire. Why do you think some plant species in Australia might dominate? It helps the plants sprout. Yes. And then the ashes help them grow. And what scientists are saying now is the fact that there's eucalyptus plants everywhere may be due to all of the fire management that was done by Aboriginal people for thousands and thousands of years. I was lucky enough to go out and work at Mimili on their um, Anungu Pitanjara, Yankananjara lands for two years. I'm demonstrating to them that I value it enough to use it as a teaching tool. On the floor? I could look at scientists that mm -hmm. have proved um, that fire stick farming was used in... Yeah. Yep. My colleague Nicole and I are talking about where we're at with what we're doing at the moment and some of the interests that the students have. What's happening and what they're learning about. I often just go online, which I, I found the Australian article Resources searching online myself. I also use the Aboriginal Languages and Multicultural Resource Centre. I think we could maybe think about doing a topic around um, the seasons because, again, there's lots of really, really good resources. Mm -hmm. If we can't access... Um, local Aboriginal people or Aboriginal cultural instructors to come in and work with the children. There's heaps of stuff on the National Film and Sound Archive website. When I first started working here at Sturt Street, seven schools were going to be teaching units of work on um, Aboriginal cultural studies and sharing with each other. That has come together as the Aboriginal cultural studies Moodle. Last year, Nicole joined me looking at creating focus questions for nearly every year level under every topic and linking it to um, the Australian curriculum. Let's next term aim for you to do the season stuff with your kids and I'll follow in the same content area doing country. Yeah. So they're still linking with the Australian curriculum yeah, yeah, yeah. for the relevant yeah. year levels. That's a good yeah, idea. Yeah, and let's just organise maybe towards <laughs> week seven or eight to have um, some sessions where we um, cross over and your kids can teach mine about what you've been doing mm -hmm. and mine can do the same for yours. Yeah. I've promoted it to all the staff at school and tried to get them involved with it as well, so I believe in it. I think it's a really, really good resource, especially for teachers who are not confident or don't have a background in teaching Aboriginal cultural yeah. studies. We came, the white people came, and they didn't know that um, you needed to get a fire to stop the forest from growing. Excellent. So they did it there. It was saying the European people, when they came here, didn't actually realise that the local Aboriginal people were doing really well-practised land management um, processes, one of which was... Fire stick farming. It's diverse. You can um, teach almost any of the um, major learning areas through um, Aboriginal cultural studies. 
How do you support colleagues to incorporate Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander histories and cultures into teaching programs? Why is it important to ensure the cultural appropriateness of resources when teaching about or teaching through Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander perspectives? How do you promote reconciliation in your school context?